Hey yo, what's up guys? Incurve1011 here. Back here with another texture pack review. Anyways, we have four amazing texture packs. FPS friendly and also they look amazing. And hopefully you guys like this video. Smash subscribe and press the like button. Don't forget to ring notifications. Anyway, let's get into the video. <laughs> Okay, we have this bonus texture pack. If you know the um, YouTuber named Tap L, yes, this is his texture pack, just that it's in MCPE. It's crazy. I was looking for this texture pack a lot, and we've I finally found it. Anyway, we have amazing blocks. They all look amazing, especially diamonds. Diamonds look the best, honestly. As you can see, they're all so nice. They have the super smooth texture pack, which texture for stone, which I love. And the nature looks pretty good, but it's not the best. Honest. And the nether, nether looks pretty outdated. Well, the nether rack does. But if you like the nether rack textures, in the old updates so that's what you anyways green fire um, it's not my favorite but hey anyways lava texture <coughs> and nether portals looks quite the same and then we have sky see the sky but Looks pretty nice, looks pretty realistic, and except for the clouds, um, unfortunately they didn't change the clouds. Minecraft clouds look a bit off to me, but hey. Then we get particles. Particles look close to the same, but I feel like they look a bit better. Then we have sword everything is just so much smoother they have that red strip green when it's ready and red when it's been used power indication on bows basically it's just a like one of the best pvp um, textures out there Green fire again, but perfect, but hey. Ender pearl, pop, pop, pop. Last potions, potions. Creative mode, survival mode, and again, but apples are honestly the, my favorite part in this entire texture pack. As you can see, everything's super smooth. You can see the pixels are even smoother, clear, but, but, but. absolutely beautiful clip and then pickaxes obviously shovels and honestly the pickaxe textures looks amazing absolutely amazing chest anvils furnaces crafting table and enchanting table armor obviously looks amazing especially the diamond armor honestly the best texture for diamond armor I've ever seen anyways that's this texture pack now let's get into the top three here's our next texture as you can see in the background diamonds look super different this 
Rainbow Diamond is pretty nice, but the thing I like in this texture pack the most is the blocks. Look at them. Iron blocks, cold block. They all have the, the same texture, just different color. And but diamonds, <laughs> they be popping. Nature, not the best, but none of these texture packs actually focus on nature. But because it's PvP. Anyways, it is in its beta, but still super good looking, but cons, not smooth like all the other texture packs we have. It's not as smooth, and um, normal sky, it just has the regular old sky. And then also, some sounds for breaking, same sound for breaking block. Now... It's the same sound for breaking every single block in the game. Well, until now. And also, basically very little changed. It's, there's so little things that are changed. Just like in Chonic Table, it's like the same but like just different color. Diamond. And also this. Just the outline. And the dirt looks very, very dark. Honestly, if you are building anything, I wouldn't use dirt in this texture pack because like it looks so off. Particles look basically the same. Just a little bit more like, smooth. But unlike all the other texture packs, it's not as smooth. But there are a few pros. The ores look pretty nice, armor looks pretty nice, and also it's very FPS friendly. Anyways, we have even better texture packs, and here we have the galactic textures. Anyways, very nice, smooth, and like smooth blocks, it's very FPS friendly also, and but there are pros and cons. The pros being FPS, smoothness of blocks, no server lag, no, very good caves overall, very nice and smooth caves, nice base blocks like crafting table, enchanting table, and nice bait, nice armor, I mean, the armor looks absolutely spot on. But there are obviously cons to this. Sky is just bright to dark. Like there's no clear difference between day and night. It's just bright to dark. Which is not a, like that bad. But like it's just bright to dark. Which just isn't that showy. And the sky is galactic themed obviously. But... It's just bright to dark, I and mean, that's not nice. And then we have swords. Honestly, swords is the probably the best thing in here. It doesn't have the indication like the Tap L texture pack, which is a bit of a bummer. But hey, we have nice textures for fire. Honestly, the NFL looks very nice. Splash potions. Normal potions. And. Survival mode. Creative mode. Apples don't look as nice as the tap out pictures. Honestly, the best thing in here is the pickaxe. And it's not the best texture pack, but 
very nice. Honestly, I would prefer it over the Kyo, but the Kyo is still in beta, so I can't really say that you shouldn't take the Kyo at all. And if you prefer the Kyo, take the Kyo. Anyways, but we have, on in my opinion, one of the best um, FPS texture packs, which I used in my last video, and it, it's just amazing. And here we have the Saki texture pack as you can see it's probably overall the best texture pack we have here today but it has really good competition with the tab l but obviously pros and cons cons are some block textures are questionable like i really want to say the iron ore is really not that nice and obviously the block of iron is very very weird but if you prefer it it's your pref preference and but there are lots of pros pros are the smoothness of this block have you ever seen anything like smoother i really like smooth blocks i don't know it's just a thing and obviously the fps you can crank it up to 32 render distance and it will work on almost any device the sky beautiful like honestly i feel like this has the best sky out of all of the texture packs we reviewed today it has a clear difference and just overall very nice and then we have the nether nether is honestly the my favorite part and it's just nice nether portals look absolutely beautiful Here we go Almost. and particles actually have a difference unlike the Saki I mean unlike the Kyo and then we have obviously the things for PvP swords unfortunately it also doesn't have that Indicator of which you had in the tap L. Flint and steel. Fire. Enderpearl. Honestly, Enderpearl looks quite the same. I would prefer if it was changed like. I like it when texture packs change stuff and it still looks amazing. Potions. Survival mode. Oh, more creative. Let's get up. Pop. Particle for when you're eating stuff is pretty much the same. I like how they go from like one. Whoops. I like how they go from one like side of an axe to like two when you get higher tiers. That's very nice. And the cave system, very nice. Okay, but the pros and cons are. Cons, some block textures, as I said, very weird. And enchanted items look pretty off. Like the particles for the enchantment is not as great. But pros obviously outweigh the cons. As the pros are the smoothness of the blocks, the FPS, the sky, beautiful overall. And good caves. Over here if you're going mining you will uh, very much like this texture pack armor like except for the enchanted stuff i feel like the armor looks amazing no server lag nice to build nice base blocks you can see and nice ores 
except for the iron ore, which is the only thing that I don't like. And yeah, that's it. Hopefully you guys like this video. Smash subscribe if you really like the video I'm posting. And obviously, please press like and ring the bell. And hopefully you guys check out some of these texture packs. They're all very amazing. There's going to be links in the description. Anyways, peace.